Well, you can see it's 3.06. Well, it's almost 3.07 in the morning. Um, I've just finished programming about a half an hour, maybe 37 minutes ago, I would say. And that's a good time for me to put up a video. My mind is spinning from all the programming and uh, I need to relax before I go to sleep. Um, there's a couple things I'd like to say to, to be serious. Um, you know, first of all, I don't know which to say first, you know. But first of all, it's like people spout off. They spout off at the barbecues, drinking a beer with their cousins, and you know, it spreads out. It's, it's more influential than you might think. You know, maybe people aren't that impressed, but they're bored sometimes. They go, hey, do you ever think of this? I didn't write. So it, it's more influential. Let's just assume it's more influential than you think. Now maybe these same people go on the internet and then it's still more influential than you would think. Or you're surprised to see how influential and to face how influential it is at that point. Alright, at that point you, you either thank fate that you have a chance to set the record straight, that you have a chance to encounter it, that suddenly you're somehow at the, their barbecue where they're drinking a beer and talking to their cousin and you're right there and you could say oh well, wait women aren't or oh well, wait life isn't All right Th that's up to you to take it that way that you know con trying to think you will convince another person or stop them from from making their statement or make the statement less charismatic if it is such or to whichever degree it is that's futile. You know, what you can do is you can add your own statement and that's quite more than minimally sufficient if you get my drift. Now on antinatalism itself, you, to be serious, you've made a good point, you know, about what you really object to with certain antinatalists and so on, I think. Um, but what I find interesting is that you, like antinatalists, tell me you should fix everything before you have kids. What? It, it, that's just a cart before the horse kind of thing because, um, think about it. If there's no God, then life just started at some point and it was after that that it was sent enough to go to... To, to, to go to the point where it's going to ask itself, hey, well, how did I get here? Wait, what the hell is this about? That's after the fact. After there's, well, why is there a sewage problem? Why is, you know, those things are going to happen by nature before we've come up with the question of, hey, why is that happening? Ooh, and I don't like that. And what, you know, it has to happen for us to realize, hey, there's something wrong with the situation. There is no guarantee that it would take less than a generation to fix these problems. I mean, do you think you're going to get us on a technicality? Now, the people that are willing to devote their lives to, to fixing those problems and to raising the kind of people willing to fix them, uh, why shouldn't we have the right to, to do that? I think that is an individual choice and, and we have the right, we've earned the right. Now people that are just more lackadaisical, they're on their own if they've earned the right or not, if they just innately have the right. But for those of us that have earned the right, I think it should be fairly clear, right? Um, now, what I really believe is not that we can for sure uh, raise children that are going to help and I agree with some of the points that say that hey well we can't expect them that's right I can't pre-obligate 
future generations to help with this problem. I just suspect that a lot of them will want to. Now for those that don't necessarily want to, uh, I definitely agree they should be personally, individually antinatalist. They shouldn't reproduce. Uh, I, maybe it's ideal that they should think that and still help as much as they can with the current state of affairs. But I entirely understand why people that decide to have children are the ones that are entirely 100% dedicated ethically, morally to long-term thinking. Um, they don't all do that. That's a big problem. But there's a natural reason to expect them to do that. And they ought to do that. And, you know, if you have decided not to have children, perhaps you have the liberty of some more near-term thinking. Um, but I still think you'll find that you have to uh, to help society, that you depend on society, that the things that exist now, uh, you rely on them to a degree that, you know, you're uh, somewhat ethically obligated to take part and, and help to make it better and to improve it. Uh, I hope that sounded like the two points I meant to make. It is 3.13 in the morning, so yeah, that's a factor.